still is only 2% of the surface of our planet, but a 50% of the population, 80% of CO2 emissions. So if we can do something to make our cities a little bit more sustainable, they could be a big deal globally. I often wake up in a different city every day. So the first thing that makes me excited in the morning is you know, to find out which city I'm in and go and discover it. And the most interesting thing is to look at people and how they enjoy space and how we can explore this new hybrid world in between digital and physical that's the basis of the smart or sensible city. My name is Carlo Ratti. Uh, I'm professor at MIT where I run a place called Sensible City Lab and also design office Carlo Ratti Associati. Today is a very interesting time with cities. And the reason is that uh, all those technologies that change our lives over the past 10, 20, 30 years, they're entering physical space. And so all this connection of digital and physical is changing the way we can collect data from the environment. We can use it for design. This information can help us to design better buildings, better cities. In 2015, there was the Milan World Expo, the World's Fair. And there we collaborated with ABB and with robotics. ABB develops great technologies for robotics, for intelligence, and so that's a natural fit for a lot of the things we are exploring in cities. After the World Expo, however, the site had to be transformed. Now in 2019, hopefully, construction will start on MIND, the Milan Innovation District. MIND, the Milan Innovation District, is almost like a, a city within a city. This is going to be one of the first three districts in the world to be totally designed starting from self-driving cars. The University of Milan will move there. But most importantly, really, a place for people to connect and generate new ideas in order to speed up and foster innovation all around the world. MIND is a one million square meter development. One of the biggest impact would be on the way we design the public space. Public space and the road would be totally different. Something like an interactive platform on which things will happen. This platform could be used for the daily commute. It could be used for special events such as festival. This road could become really an adaptive platform that will follow the urban, let's say, rhythm. We've been collaborating with ABB on different things, so, you know, there are, I think there's a lot of, of synergies. Certainly I see two potential ones. And the first one is about robotics and automation, and how that can be used in order to change many tasks in the city itself. But the second one is really more about the, the brain, the intelligence behind, behind the smart city, and again, how we can save energy you know, and create better places for living. We're very passionate about how smart or sensible cities can actually change urbanization patterns all over the world. And in order to be architects of the future, we need to experiment with new technologies today. 